everyone, John from Ride Upstate, and today I want to talk about this new thing that we see uh, all over the place from Uber, right? This uh, wash, wear, and air. It's tied into the whole mask thing with the passengers, where if a passenger is reported not wearing a mask, the next time they ride, they have to take a picture, which that will suffice as wearing a mask. But I don't really want to talk necessarily about that. I think that as a driver, as an independent contractor, you should be able to enforce whatever policies you want in your vehicle. Now, I don't have a problem with Uber telling a driver hey, if you want to receive rides, if you want to receive work on our platform, you have to meet these requirements. But Uber also requires us and Lyft require us to enforce their policies on passengers. So here we are. We are supposedly independent contractors. And listen, I don't care where you fall on this, whether you feel like you're an employee. I mean, if you feel like you should be an employee, you probably don't have a problem with this. But if you feel like you, sh you should be treated as an independent contractor, you should be able to make up the rules in your vehicle. Now, that might make it tough for some passengers because a passenger may have gotten a ride from driver A who doesn't care about rolling down the windows, doesn't care if you're wearing a mask or not. And then now they get in a ride with you, driver B, and you say, look, I'm rolling down the windows and I want you to wear a mask while you're in the vehicle. Whatever the case, Uber and Lyft both say that we are independent contractors. And if we are independent contractors, we should not be forced to then make passengers comply with Uber's policies. Okay, whether or not you think it makes sense to wear a mask, whether or not you think it makes sense to roll down the windows, whatever, they say we're independent contractors. So we should be able to operate our business as we see fit. Another thing that comes up is the number of passengers you're allowed in your vehicle. Uber and Lyft both say no passengers in the front seat right now. Well, you know what? If I'm an independent contractor, I should be able to make that decision if someone can sit in the front seat. But I can't. I have to enforce Uber's policies. So where do we go from here? Are we independent contractors? Are we employees or are we some kind of different classification? Listen, I don't live in California, so I don't understand all the nuances of uh, Prop 22 and all the other laws that have been passed there. But I, I, I agree that we're kind of somewhere in the middle because an independent contractor, if they come and if I hire an independent contractor to come and work on my house, I don't get to tell them how to do their job. As long as they're following safety protocols and they do a great job and they don't cause any damage to my house, I don't get to tell them how to do their job. But Uber and Lyft get to tell us who are independent contractors, how to do our job. In fact, they also hold back certain features if we don't meet certain criteria by accepting a certain number of rides, accepting a certain percentage of rides, accepting and not uh, canceling a certain number of rides. These are all things that if we were independent contractors, we wouldn't have to be concerned about. Yes, there are safety issues. Yes, there are uh, issues of cleanliness. And I think that 
that that's an issue. But again, if I'm operating an independent business downtown, in fact, I know of one, and I remember when all of this started, this person put up a sign on the front of their store saying, I'm not wearing a mask in my store. If you want me to, then please text this number and let me know and I'll put a mask on before you come in. Otherwise, feel free to come in. We should have the same option to do that. Now, would I drive someone around without a mask on? I don't know. I'm not taking passengers right now. I don't want to be in an enclosed space like this, even with a mask on, with someone who could potentially be sick. But I should have the option to do that if I'm an independent contractor. I don't have all the answers. I'm just kind of talking off the cuff here. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more com content like this on my channel, like the video, subscribe. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.